into it, so I'm just not going to. I'm just going to talk. Last time you guys saw the Civic, we had it jacked up. I had that wheel off, and all that's happened since then is I bolted the hub on there so that I could wheel this out. We had to fix Emerson's truck the other day, but the caliper and where the hell did I? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> the calipers and all that stuff are still in that box. So the, literally just the hub is here, but there's no brake or anything on it. So it, it, you know, I can't use the e-brake or anything. So I got to put this thing on rocks every time I move it, but that's it. Nothing crazy happened. You just missed me bolting the hub up. I was going to start painting these brakes today and I just realized we don't have any brake clean. So like the number one thing you got to do before you paint brake calipers is like brake clean them and get all the grease off. I don't have any brake clean, but Lord Co has my brake lines waiting for me. So I figured we'll go pick up that, pick up some brake clean, and then we can start today's video. side is still the side that I didn't take apart when I took it off the Acura. The other side is already fully apart. So I'm going to take this side apart. We had a little bit of a mishap when we ordered like the, the brake lines, those brake lines there. We ordered the Acura ones, but for whatever reason, the ones that came in were actually Civic ones. So the, we, we, when I went to pick them up today, we had the exact same, those exact same brake lines that are already there were the ones that weren't stock. So that's not going to work. I reordered the correct ones this time, but I did pick up some brake clean and stuff when we were out. So we are going to be able to paint the calipers. So literally all I need to do right now is rip this caliper off. And then, like I said, this one is already off. There's nothing here. I never put it back on. We're running out of space in this garage. If you look around, like if you actually look around the garage, it is like hella crowded in here. And it's just a single car and whatever. And, and the end of 2018, I was like super in this mode where I was like, oh, I do YouTube full time now and I gotta get these, I gotta get like a big garage and a big shop and I gotta do all this stuff. And then I realized like I was just fine when I was happy that I even had this space. So it's not always about needing to get the bigger and better stuff. It's just making what we got work. So we're actually gonna go out tonight and pick up like a big shelving unit that's gonna go across this whole wall or not necessarily the whole wall, but it's gonna go across a lot of the wall. Make this space as usable as possible because I don't wanna always be trying to get, I don't know, it's tiring to always be looking for new things. You just enjoy what you have, so. Get up! Uh-oh, it's really stuck. There we go. And it is that easy, man. Ew, look at that, dude, there's literally no pad left. This is 100% flat. Yeah. So this was my doing, when I undid all the bolts and everything, when I was taking them home, I left the, uh, wherever it is, I think I took it all the way out. I left the bolt that connects the brake line loose, so it leaked brake fluid all over the place, so what I'm gonna do is just like brake clean, get all that off, try and clean up all this rubber so it's like as nice as possible, and then I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna like wire brush, sandpaper, I don't know, I've never painted brake calibers, cal I've never painted brake calibers before. I understand the idea, I understand everything. I wanna make them look pretty nice. I know eventually I'm probably gonna do like a bigger brake swap because eventually this car is gonna go a lot faster, but for now, this is perfectly fine. Like I don't even really need to do back here, but just for the sake of like, this is kind of already kind of custy. I'm gonna do basically from like the piston forwards. So nothing back here is ever gonna show. All this stuff is completely behind. This dust shield anyways, like it, it's totally hidden. So I could do it all the way back, but I'm not really going to. I'm just gonna focus on like the main areas that you will see. And if I change up the wheels or whatever, at least where you see will still be okay. Cause like I said, I want I wanna do it. I want it to look cool, but I'm expecting to redo this, I don't know, in like a year or so, maybe, I don't know. I think like the main focusing points are all pretty well sanded. Like this whole top face right here, this whole front face is pretty good. I even spent a lot of time on this back piece just because I don't want it to rust out like after like two days of having it on there. And I'm realizing right now that I didn't actually address why we're only doing the rear. So the front brakes, I told you guys in the last, in the last, Last video, or two videos ago, I asked you guys what you thought about getting a B18 or B20, whatever. And I've put a lot of thought into getting a new motor for this. And if you guys stayed till the end of the last video, 
I told you guys about what I'm what the situation is with the budget build. If you haven't, go to the last video. I'll put it right here in one of these corners, whichever one it is. Go to the end and just listen to what I say about the budget and, and it being over. I'm actually looking at a donor car right now with a B18 in it, and that donor car has the perfect set of front brake upgrade for this car. Front perfect set of front grade. You know what I'm trying to say. That's why I never touched on it. That's why I'm just doing the rears for those of you that are curious. Ew, it's all done. That one's done. That one's done. It's the next day because last night I just halted. Like I said, I went and picked up the shelf. This shelf's gonna go up there. I don't know. I'm gonna do that later. But this is all done. We are good. We're good to keep rolling. <laughs> Paint this what we're gonna be using, just the VHT caliper paint. I have some clear coat too, which I'm gonna put on and try and make it look just a little bit nicer. That's three coats of the blue and then two coats of the clear, <coughs> which is up my nose a little bit. Three coats of blue, two coats of clear. I'm gonna let that dry for like probably a couple hours at this point. Um, I'm gonna let the fan blow on it for, I don't know, 20 minutes until I can bring it back inside. And once I get it in here, I'm gonna let it dry for like a couple hours because my next step is gonna be assembling it. And if I try to assemble it while it's still wet, I'm gonna just completely destroy it. So, so in the meantime, we're gonna put on new rotors. These pads have to wait. But we can put on the new rotors. Not gonna take hours, but at least it'll keep us busy for a little bit. All right, now this side was the rustier side. <laughs> oh God, I hope that comes out, man. That is the rustiest piece. Start with a little bit of this. Gonna give it a little bit of this. As we send our prayers up, we are gonna hope that this does not strip it. Hey, we did it. Honestly, this hub is not that bad. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but. <laughs> that already looks 10 times better. That looks so sick. I think it mainly looks good because like we used to have just the ugliest drum ever. It's still a tiny, tiny break. Like it's not, it's not a performance break by any means. And at this point, it's been a couple hours. I let everything dry outside. It was in the sun for a little bit. Then I brought it back in when the sun kind of like moved off of that area. They look sick. They dried nice. They dried like the right color blue. Sometimes when things dry, they dry like a different color. These are like perfect. This is literally the same blue as like everything else in the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just untape all of this and then kind of start reassembling them. We should be golden. At this point, something is going on with getting these brake lines. It's something in the system. Um, it's not like anybody's fault or whatever. It's just something in the computer system at Lord Co. They keep, keep getting the wrong brake lines. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive the car to end today's video. What I'm gonna probably do is just get everything together and just have the one, well, a brake line missing on each side. And then whatever. They're hoping to get them back in later tonight. So maybe either later tonight or tomorrow, I can just run over, put them in and bleed the brakes. That's not something that's important to the video. The important part of the video is the actual modding of the car. We're hopeful, hopefully they'll call me before this is all done and then I can actually drive it around and get you guys some cool shots of how the brakes look. We'll have to see how it goes. This looks so hot. I actually really, really like the way this looks. And like I said at the beginning, like you could have done it on here, but there's people that have tutorials where you paint the brake pads, but I think that looks stupid. Like I personally, that's just my personal preference. I think it looks cheap. I like the way I did it because it looks like this is like clearly the caliper. The back part is clearly different, right? It's not all blue back there. And then the pads are clearly pads and rotors are rotors. Like I don't like when it all kind of mushes into one and it's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I was going to start this thing up because I can now. I can like roll it around and just use the e-brake to start and stop it. But I completely forgot like when the muffler broke, I left that piece unbolted. <laughs> this piece unbolted. If there's any rattling, it's the exhaust heat shield thing. I like loosened it so we can put the e-brake cables up. I don't think I tighten it back. RIP headphone users. <laughs> I 
it's not horrible. It's not horrible because the turbo quiets it down a lot. It's aggressive, dude. The whole car shakes. Like, I started it up and my seat was like... <laughs> That's crazy. I'm excited to do the front ones because the front ones are obviously way bigger and they will make a way bigger difference. They'll look a lot nicer. But like I said, we got to wait. I'm, I'm wanting to upgrade them, so... The wheels we have make them kind of hard to see in certain, certain rotations, but like... Ooh! Ooh! They're nice and blue. It's, it's hard to get a focus because they're really dark in there, but they look super good. From back here, I think they look nice. They look really good. They go with the lug nuts and everything. Everything looks way better. And even just the disc assembly makes this whole car look way cleaner in the back. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. Unfortunately, I still haven't got anything from Lord Co. The brake lines are, are still in, in the abyss, so I'm not going to be including that in today's video because I don't want to just sit around waiting, waiting, waiting to get them. And then if I don't end up getting them, i got to come out here and finish this video this way. Anyways, so just know, before you see the car next, I'll throw the brake lines on and ble bleed the brakes. No big deal. You guys are missing anything. But pretty much going to be it for this. This was a successful brake swap. I think this is sick. Now we got four discs. I think I'm going to clean up. I'm going to start editing this video and I'm going to come back out here a little bit, a little bit. I started talking too fast. I'm going to clean up, edit this video, and then I'm going to come back out here later. This is the shelving unit that I went and picked up. It's a big boy. And we're going to put it, I think, right there. I know a lot of you guys are probably on your way out the door right now, but those of you that like have been around for a while and really love the channel. You probably really enjoyed when we first moved into this garage. And I picked up this thing, which is sick, and I really like how it's like a display cabinet. But if in real life, this thing is one really, really deep, right? Like this is my arm. It's like elbow to fingertips deep. It's pretty deep. And um, it goes pretty low. And the amount of times that I've been like bent down right here working on a car and stood up and hit my back on that and literally been paralyzed for like a day is insane. So I'm hoping that we can put this one up there and maybe just transfer all that stuff out of here. I'm gonna kind of rearrange all of this. I've accepted that it's, it's hard for me to find another house and until I can afford to get a shop, like actually afford it, not just do it and have no money left, I don't wanna do that. So eventually we'll probably move back home to Ontario anyways and like, which is sick by the way, because when I went home for Christmas, the hype, I met so many subscribers in Toronto, it was actually crazy. I wasn't even really in Toronto, but I met so many subscribers that it was insane and like around here I never really meet subscribers I went home for like a week and I met like at least one a day which was sick so we might end up going home I don't know I don't want to dump a bunch of money into a bunch of stuff out here and, and whatever so my plan is to just make this like the most usable single car garage you've ever seen and it's perfect for that because it's already pretty wide like we have like two feet deep toolbox two foot deep this thing and then like we still have cars pull all the way in and work on them so it's a good space. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to keep it going and show you guys like you don't need anything special because I feel like a lot of you guys are like, oh man, I wish I had like a bigger space. Like man, up until like this, exactly this time last year, I was laying right there on that driveway installing that light bar making a video about it. Like in the cold. I had like three layers of gloves on. You can do it. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are stoked. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out and stay committed.